Hello guys and welcome to the video. Before we continue, make sure you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any video. Michelle Obama opened up about how she is suffering at some form of depression this year due to how poorly the Trump administration has responded to the health crisis, as well as the racial unrest in the country. The former First Lady made the candid reveal during a new episode of her podcast on Wednesday, August 5th, adding that there was a number of reasons behind her mental health condition, not just because of the quarantine, but because of the racial strife and just seeing this administration, watching the hypocrisy of it day in and day out is dispiriting, Obama said in the second episode of the season. Obama addressed the ongoing coronavirus pandemic and the countrywide protests against racial injustice and police brutality, sparked by the death of George Floyd on May 25th, while having a conversation with Michelle Norris, the former anchor of NPR's All Things Considered. She said that she held President Donald Trump and his government partially responsible for her depression. I just don't think I'm unusual in that, Obama said, but I'd be remiss to say that part of this depression is also a result of what we're seeing in terms of the protests, the continued racial unrest that has plagued this country since its birth. I have to say that waking up to the news, waking up to how this administration has or has not responded, Waking up to yet another story of a black man or a black person somehow being dehumanised or hurt or killed or falsely accused of something, it is exhausting and it has led to a weight that I haven't felt in my life in a while. She added that keeping to her daily routine at times as these has helped her stay mentally healthy, a practice she started back when she was staying at the White House and continues till today. However, it did not mean that she did not struggle with it at times. I'm waking up in the middle of the night because I'm worrying about something or there's a heaviness, she said. I try to make sure I get a workout in, although there have been periods throughout this quarantine where I have just felt too low. You know, I've gone through these emotional highs and lows that I think everyone feels, where you just don't feel yourself. And sometimes there's been a week or so where I had to surrender to that and not be so hard on myself and say, you know what, you're just not feeling that treadmill right now. She advised people dealing with emotional highs and lows to start knowing yourself and eventually figure out the things that do bring you joy. So for me, my spirit is lifted when I'm feeling healthy, when I'm surrounded by good people, you know, so I reach out, she said. I reach out to my family and to my friends, even in this time of quarantine. You know, I fought to continue to find a way to stay connected to the people in my life who bring me joy and my girlfriends, my husband, my kids. It's the small things because you have to recognise that you're in a place, a bad place, in order to get out of it. So you kind of have to sit in it for a minute to know, uh-oh, I'm feeling off, so now i gotta, I got to feed myself with something better. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share comments, and most importantly, turn your notifications on. Thanks for watching.